What's up, Ebike fans? In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Amp Rides USA Limited 750 watt bike. Now, stick with me here because although it's a 750 watt named bike, it really has a 1500 watt motor on it. And you know, to really clear up a little bit about this part of it, I actually am doing a review this time with an interview at the same time with Josh, the owner of Amp Rides USA, to go ahead and talk about the bike. And we're going to go into details a lot about the specs on it and how cool this bike really is. So let's get started and check this bike out. Okay, so I have Josh Bungin here on the line or on Zoom, and we'll be talking about his Amp Rides uh, Limited Step Through 1500 watt, just amazing bike uh, that I, I was able to go ahead and, and take a ride on. And I just got back actually from a 14 mile ride today uh, to get some extra footage because the bike was just so much fun. I have not been on anything that was over a 750 watt, and to have a 1500 watt motor under me. It's just amazing. Plus it has a, suspension, a front fork suspension on it. And in fact, before I go too much into the details of what made it so much fun, I, hey Josh, thanks so much for joining us on this call. And uh, thank you so much for you know sending out the test bike that I can go ahead and, and, and do a review on. It, it was a blast. I mean, if there's a bike that's gonna be a 20 by four that I'd ever want that was on the premium end, definitely this is the bike that I would be picking up. First thing I want to find out is what made you decide to go to the 1500 watt range on, on these bikes here? Um, well, Chris, we have, a, um, we, have, we have two lines. We have a baseline and a, and a limited line. And so um, originally we had uh, developed the, the limited line with the thousand watt Baffang because people know the Baffang motor mm -hmm. and it's got good brand recognition. And um, you have to go to the thousand watt, we have to use spoke wheels. So that was something that we knew we were going to, we wouldn't be able to do in mag wheels at this time. Mm -hmm. But um, when, when Baffang detuned the motors here uh, back in December, uh, they took the, the thousand watt peaks at 1200 watt, 85 Newton meter motor, and they dropped it. Now we can only get 26 miles an hour out of that thing, maybe. And so it's just barely going faster than a 750, which is what we use in our, in our mag wheel bikes, you know? Mm -hmm. with the 80 newton meters so we said well there's just not enough there to make why would why even bother it's only one mile there are different people aren't going to care so we went to the factory our limited factory who does a lot of custom bikes for like it, italian um do, mostly they're in Ital italy and europe mm -hmm. they, they're really trying to not really trying to break into the u.s market too much i kind of just sought them out so they make some bikes but they don't really have a presence in the u.s um and they said, well, you know what? We we know we're down the street from the factory that kind of, one of the factories that kind of like um, is involved with the Baffang motors. They're like, what if we just had them make you a custom motor for your brand and we just made it bigger and faster and more power than the old thousand watt? And I said, sure, that would be great. And they said, okay, well, it's gonna delay your bikes a month, six weeks or whatever. We're gonna have to respoke them because the motor is gonna be bigger around. So the sport, we're gonna have to shorten the spokes from the thousand watts we already installed in them. And they came back with this great motor. It's got over 90 Newton meters of torque. I mean, we have no bench test on it, but it definitely is pulling a lot harder than a thousand watt. We class it on our website as a 750 with higher torque. And we, you stickers that says it's a class two 750 so and it comes shipped to you tuned to be a 750 but if you want to uncork it and you want to go 35 miles an hour that's it's america so you have this actual um battery option that came with it so one thing that you can do for for those of you who are, are possibly interested in looking for higher performance bikes definitely you want to take a look at this bike this is something that just throttle alone holding it down for you know, five, 10 minutes down, just straightaway stretches easily got me to 31, 32 miles an hour. Uh, I'll be having some footage actually put up there during the, the review portion of it. And uh, the motor after, I was kind of curious because I mean, you want to know if the motor is actually straining. And even at that steady rate for that long period of time on that whole 14 mile ride, actually getting back home, 
I, I touched it and it was, you know, it was warm to the touch, but it wasn't hot where you couldn't touch it. I could keep my hands on it just because I was really curious. I mean, 1500 watts. Now with a 48 watt battery and a 25 amp controller, it's probably only taking about 1200 total uh, watts that's actually been putting out there. So that's what keeps it cool, which is a benefit. Josh, would you talk about the, the three different sizes that you have and why you decided to go ahead and have these options? Yeah, um, we we, are, we use Samsung and LG batteries uh, and uh, no no um, generic batteries. Um, these models come in these limited step throughs and uh, dual suspensions. They're the volt the, the volt lineup. Um, they come with a forty eight volt um, twenty one amp hour. Uh, they come with a forty eight volt twenty five amp hour when available. You know, right now it's it, you you put in the order and you have to see and ask them if they can get them. You know, it's 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 a check and see thing with the supply chains right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then the uh, we have a 52 volt 28 amp hour, which is, you know, about that much longer than the one you got there. Um, but the 52 volt, you you could probably get 50 to 70 miles, depending on how you ride, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I mean, you can easily, I mean, because you're adding 25%, uh, or let's see, you're adding 33% to the 21 amp hour. So, yeah. Uh, you probably get. You, I think you get about 100 watts more out of the 52 volt battery with that same setup than you do out of the 48 volt. So you know you get another eight, eight, ten percent performance out of it. I don't know about the top end because the battery, the top end is more determined on how 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 many RPMs the motor is capable of. Mm -hmm. So the top end may be the same, but the the takeoff would be notice, you know, a little bit noticeable. The other thing that was really good about this bike was the gearing. And um, I don't know if you, if you want to share a little bit about the gearing that you actually put on this bike, because you mentioned that when I was, when the bike was being shipped to me that, hey, check out how you don't basically, I think you call it air pedaling, you know, you don't have to air pedal as much because uh, the gearing is huge on the front end and, you know, the, the high end gear on the back end is also really sm uh, small. So it really gets you so that you can help pedal the bike if you want to, and you can actually push it faster. Uh, can you speak about what size teeth and uh, what you put on there? Yeah, most bikes these days are coming with the 48 to 52 tooth cranks, but we 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 said, hey, we want to put 52 six tooth cranks on all of our limited models. And the factory said, well, we don't use that. They're like, uh, <laughs> well, we check into that, and they're like, uh, that doesn't make sense. It's going to look ridiculous. And I said, no, I'm just I did some calculating, and I think that I want to have 56 tooth crank on the front. And I want to have 1134 gears on the back and I want to have a paddle shifter eight speed on the right hand grip. And I'm like, I just want to have a bike that you can cruise at top speed and not really have to look like an idiot, you know, trying to <laughs> pedal down the road, you know, so, you know, not look like you rob it, just robbed a bank or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think when you take off on these bikes, you really, when you go to stop and you're like, okay, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to take off again. You really have to look, retrain yourself because on on like a on a on a fourteen twenty eight gear bike, you could take off in the bottom gear in the in the for in the seventh gear, no problem in the small cog, mm -hmm. no problem because it wasn't geared that low. But like these bikes, you really need to shift up and to be like in the middle of the back gears just so when you take off, if you you know it, that that you can have some sort of because it's just geared so low mm -hmm. at that bottom end. But you can always take off if you forget with your thumb throttle and, and but you train yourself after you know three or four rides you're like oh i'm coming in you know i need to shift the gears up or i'm coming into a stop sign you know and the and the rapid fire shifters you can jump up three or four gears at a time you yeah. don't just jump at a time you can skip half the gears yeah. so you just hit that throttle you know hit that paddle once and you're up into a nice gear to take off from a stop sign or what's what's really cool though though guys if you guys forget I mean, I'm, I'm sure those of you who already ride, you probably forget every once in a while to bring down, your, you know, to shift up into your shift down to your lower gears when you're coming to a stop. Well, this bike actually goes so fast. Sometimes you actually have to slow down like you're coming up on traffic, other riders, and you have to slow down and you maybe forget. With 1,500 watts under you, honestly, even at a dead stop, I don't worry about it like I would with other bikes. You know, I, oh, I'm not in the right gear because the throttle will take me will take me to the, you know, to the speed that I need to get quite easily. So it's really nice to actually have that much power because I'm thinking, why would anybody need a 1500 watt motor? This bike spoiled me. It's it's so much fun. Uh, I mean, I do have 
you know, a high performance bike at a 750 watt, but there's just something about the comfort of this bike that's just a lot more different. But for some reason, when I'm riding this bike at, you know, the higher speeds, I'm sitting straight up and it is very well balanced. And like you said, you don't want to be, you know, pedaling like you're, you're looking like you're crazy. The thing is, the faster you pedal like that, you actually are not as stable because you're moving so much. So if you're not pedaling as fast, this 56 tooth, it does not look ridiculous. It actually looks really cool. Oh yeah, it looks yeah. really good. It, yeah, it's yeah. a really good, and it has a chain guard too. I mean, it's not a really thick chain guard like that goes over, but it doesn't need to be. It, there is a chain guard, so you know you won't get your pants all dirty and it won't go into the teeth. It, it has this aluminum guard that's on the outside that's on it, but it looks really cool. And the gearing just makes sense, especially because the bike can go as fast as it does. Now, that being said as well, the stability of the bike, because you are going faster, you want to be able to stop really quick. This bike comes with some really awesome hydraulic brakes as well. Uh, bike, the Tektro E3, uh, E350 hydraulic brakes with the 180 millimeter, the bigger discs, you know? Yes. So 180 millimeters, which is, you know, larger than a lot of the bikes at a 20 inch range usually come with the 160 millimeters. So the 180 is also more stopping power. The higher end hydraulic brakes that are on there, I mean, they, they feel like butter. You really, you just, you just, if you need to stop, you can even just touch a little bit and you'll start to feel it. it. It gives a lot more confidence on your ride that you can stop that quickly. And of course, with 20 inch fat tires, I mean, four inch fat tires on the back, the, the grip on the road gets you stopping as quick as you need. So there's a lot of safety into that as well. It's a really, really good bike. I, I just can't say how much I, I'd say this is a, a pretty amazing bike that you have put together there and at a great price too. So the, um, the, the lowest mod, not well, the lowest battery size at 48 amp, 21 amp hours is at 1899 is where that one begins. And then uh, he has the 25 amp hour battery, which goes to uh, 1999. And uh, of course, the 52 volt with the 28 amp hour battery is now at 2099. Really want the customer to have a big battery. I mean, nobody ever complains and says, I wish I would have gotten a smaller battery. <laughs> nobody <laughs> has ever said that, you know, yeah. that ever called me up and said, oh, I wish I would have bought the smaller battery on one of your bikes, they're always like, oh man, I never run out of battery. I don't have battery anxiety, you know? Especially you're gonna burn some battery with that big motor if you're gonna be cruising at the high speed too. So you wanna have plenty of range. So the other thing that comes with the comfort of this bike was it, you, I, I've never seen this or heard about this, but it came with two seat posts. Um, why'd you put in the bolt of the two different seat posts in there? Well, this bike is a little bit taller than our base models, the frame. It's the same basic frame, but we had to go in and the factory had to go in and rework the frame a little bit to, um, they wanted to increase the load, the, 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 the riding capacity, you know, another 75 pounds more than our base models, because they figured, hey, some people that want a bigger motor are going to be bigger people, or they're going to be putting a lot of luggage on it or something like that, you know, taller, whatever people that, that you want the more power for one reason or another. And so they said, we need to go in on the motor mount area and we need to re-weld some different things, make it stronger. We need to change this other couple of things. You know, they changed a couple of things on the bike. It took them a couple of months to test it and, and make sure it was uh, capable of handling the motor and everything. So it raised the height of it a little bit. So usually when we sell a step through, we give people a suspension seat post automatically because we always tell people they get full suspension front, something in the front, something in the back, whether mm. it's built into the bike or it's a suspension T-post and they always have four suspension. So, but we saw that it was a little bit higher. So we were like, well, hey, let's just throw in the non-suspension C-post and save people 20 or 30 bucks in the trouble of trying to find one if they're a little bit shorter and that way they can work with it, you know, um, right out of the box. Yeah, it's so awesome. So guys, just so you know, it has actually two C-posts in it. One is a suspension C-post, which just so you know, at 5'5", five, five, that's my height and uh, 29, um, 29 inch inseam without shoes. Now with the shoes on, I'm actually going to 30 so I can actually ride it. That minimum height is actually perfect for me for full leg extension, feels really comfortable. So it can hit, accommodate riders at 5'5", five, five. but if you have a shorter inseam, then you can just use the static or the straight non-suspension post and you can bring it down an extra like two, three inches on it. I did test ride it today without uh, the suspension and the bike is so comfortable and you have both posts, you can actually choose between the two. So for those of you who are just a little under the 5.5 five or a little shorter, or you don't want to have um, full leg extension, you want to you know, be able to touch the ground, you can actually uh, 
get to put in the other post. So the other thing that he did, so, you know, even though you don't have a suspension post on there, if you have the shorter one that you want to put in there, he put in a really good seat. And I was wanted to ask him about the seat because, I mean, you guys have, some of you have seen my other video where I actually do a bikeroo versus the Cloud9 seat and then versus the stock seats that come in there. Everybody says the first thing you do is change out a seat. To be honest, your bike that you actually put out there just does not need the seat change. It's actually really comfortable. And I'm really glad you did that because then I didn't have to go ahead and mount to one of my other seats to go ahead and make sure I had a more comfortable ride on that. Any thoughts on do, mm -hmm. those, those bikes also uh, should have the, um, there's little holes in the in the rims. Did you notice that? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, those are called suspension holes. They soften the ride because the, the, the rim will flex more now. So instead of ah. solid rim with spokes, yeah, it's not, they have a lot of flex. Those those flex more, and so it gives you a softer ride um, with the oh, suspension nice. rims. Okay, so yeah, so I mean, I have a picture on the screen where they can actually see what, what you're talking about there too. Uh, yeah, I do see the holes there. and. You know, I actually pumped these tires up just maybe about two pounds under the max pressure, just so that we get the max speed and uh, more efficiency on it. And it's it's a real, like I said, it's just a super comfortable ride. The uh, front suspension fork also, this is one, like when I jump on my other bike that has front suspension, it has air shocks and I don't feel it. I mean, I can bounce on it to make it go up and down, but your particular, uh, I have it set to a little softer, but I can feel or just like know that it's absorbing. I can actually like see it. And especially when I jump on the bike and I get up on the seat, I can also feel it too. It's a really comfortable um, a fork that you put on there. Can you, do you know the, let's see the measurements on that fork? I don't have the measurements offhand, but I know that the travel on it yes. is uh, the travel on it. Uh, we compared it to our base model and it was like 30% uh, more travel and it was like 50 or 60 percent more travel when we compared it to the electric xp so it has a lot of travel that's oh, probably nice. what you're feeling is yeah. it has a lot of you know up and down a lot of stocks they have like maybe you know it's going to go up and down like this you know mm -hmm. like that much you know but like that maybe this one has like an extra 40 millimeter you know whatever they measure it by so that's that's what kind of gives you that softer feeling no, it's amazing. That's actually, like I said, this this bike is really, it's fast and comfortable. It is a foldable bike as well. So if, for those of you who are looking for not only performance, but also need storage space, you can also do that. I had a friend actually ride it last weekend so that I could do some filming following him around so I get some shots on that. And even he was saying, he's electric XP owner. So he wanted to see, you know, a step through style or something more. So I invited him up so he could, you know, be my my uh, filming subject on the bike. And even he said that bike was just amazing how solid it felt for when he's six feet and I believe close to 200 pounds. Uh, so yeah, nice. he's just, he enjoyed it. He said it was just, just a blast to, um, to come out and do that. And so he had this, no problem moving him around? Oh no, not at all. In fact, he, yeah. he, uh, we, so we tried racing, you know, I mean, I was on, on my electric to be able to film when, and, uh, <laughs> and even with his added weight, oh my goodness, I, I was squirrely or just air air pedaling, just trying to keep up and to get the shots going on that. And it was it was a blast. He was having so much fun, and there were some bumps he didn't catch, he didn't see that he said he even felt the the bike actually come off the ground and it went back down on that. But he was just having a blast, and he was holding the throttle most of the time as well. Uh, and he's a for, former motorcycle rider, you know. Right, as as he's gotten older, he says now he just sticks with the e bikes. But he said it was a really really great uh, experience for him to ride on that too. The other thing is the 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 shifter that you had mentioned, uh, th this is one of the smoothest shifters I have felt. Uh, I like the way that you actually pull back to go on higher gears and then you push with your thumb to go into lower. The other ones I've had actually, you can you have to push and then you push further with your thumb. I like the way that the shifter actually really goes for, for it. Some people don't think much about shifters. You know, you, you have something like the base models of, of electric uh, bike lines, you know, those that just use these push button type and then pushovers. And, you know, at first I didn't really think much of it until I actually started using higher end shifters. And it makes a huge difference as far as even safety. Your grip is always being held onto it. So that's really cool. It has a left hand throttle, uh, thumb throttle. So it's out of the way from the right side as well. So you get both sides of that. And the other cool thing is that you actually put blinkers or not blinkers, but actually turn signals on this bike too. So I'll have a picture of the actual turn signal, but you can, you know, make a signal left or right. There's a nice yellow that turns on for the left side of the next to the brake light and a right side as well when turning it. So that's really cool that the extra accessories on it. 
Um, anything else that you want to share about this bike? We, 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 we put a vertical um, display on there, a nice color oh, vertical yes. display, kind of like a speedometer uh, look, appeal to it, kind of like a dashboard on a car to give you more room to put like your phone mounts and things like that. We use some zoom handlebars to try to like spread out the handlebars. That's probably what's giving you a little bit, might help with the upright feel a little bit because that they're not just a straight handlebar, you know, they're like kind of, I think they have like a little bit of a roll to them, a uh, straight bar. Yeah, so, it, but, but it doesn't display, come towards you. Yep. Yeah, the display has a bunch of uh, options in there. You can go in and set your PAS settings. You can go in there and actually say, PAS one, I want it to be 25% of the motor. PAS two, you can adjust the percentages. So you can really tune it. You, so like if you are like sharing it with someone and you want to put them in PAS three, or, you know, you can totally tune it down, just go into the settings and like easily change the percentages on the, on what they're going to get out of each PAS setting in case you're going to use it for, you know, a guest or something like that. Headlight, tail light, all integrated to the battery as well. That's actually just um, standard on, on the, uh, the limited bike uh, step through as well. That was a, a really cool feature and beautiful white wall tires. Um, the one that came on this model here, uh, plus the baby blue coloring that came on that. Yeah. Like any e-bike out there when I was riding around this one, tons of compliments. And even from the hardcore traditional riders. I mean, honestly, they stop, they look and they say, what kind of bike is that? And it, just a lot of compliments. They all say nice bikes. I mean, it's it's really nice to see people taking notice of these bikes in different colors. And uh, so I you know, highly recommend, take a look at the website. I know right now the limiteds have very, uh, views very few in stock or available so you know check with um the website or you know contact josh to find out more about what's available but he does no, like again this is the high performance line the limited factory uh this limited line comes out from the limited factory where he gets these high performance uh, bikes but the baseline or the base factory the baseline that he has there are the ones that are they're not the the high performance ones you know they're a little less expensive because they actually have uh what, what is it, 750 or 500 watt motors 750 motors? back bang oh so you know, yeah, 750, 750 back bang and they come in like a 14.5 17.5 21 amp hour battery oh, you so know big so batteries you, yeah yeah it's just mainly you know it, it's just a little bit less price and um more affordable for people and more readily easy to get a hold of you know it's easy right now with all the parts that we require for our limiteds you know it can take them four months to make them two months to ship them it can take six months to get a bike in so mm -hmm. somebody can custom order a bike and it can take six months you know whereas we have bikes we have the base bikes coming in every six weeks or so now that uh, something, something i probably didn't mention to you before was on the limited bikes um we can use uh if somebody orders one you know they put 500 bucks down and they they want to like pick a color or they want to go in on an order that we already have a couple of colors to work with you can uh also choose red red aluminum wheels, uh, oh. gold aluminum wheels, black, blue, and silver. Wow. So like you can make <laughs> any combination you want. But I mean, I would highly recommend people if, if you're not, like I said, I mean, if you're not really into the high speed, high performance bike that's out there, I mean, if you're, I would say even if you're looking into the, the the lower models that are out there of regular bikes, take a look at the base models that you have because Josh makes some really good bikes. This one is a testament to how awesome this bike really is. Like I'm in the, my next market for the next bike. I, this is some, this is one of the bikes I'd highly consider. Uh, you know, a six month wait, that's not an uncommon wait now in the industry with all the supply chain issues that's going on. Typically it's a, typically it's 50, it, it's a, a nine weeks to manufacture and 45 days to ship mm -hmm. that before without COVID problems when everybody's doing their job. So we can get them in like four months. But um, right now, realistically, if we're being honest, you know, we, if we say four months to manufacture, two months to ship. Cause like I said, this power has actually spoiled me quite a bit. So I did get the high top speed of actually being able to get up to 35 miles an hour um, with just throttle alone. Average is about between 30 to 31 going back and forth. And I'll have some video on it. When I got home, I think I still had only used 30% of the battery after a 14 mile ride. And that is using the, the chart where it actually says where your voltage is at, what your percentage of your battery truly is. Cause uh, most displays don't tell you a percentage of what you really have, but it, battery capacity is, is awesome. You know, considering how much I was riding plus the hills that I hit. Yeah, all of our bikes, we have uh, hydraulics and, um, uh, you know, 
high torque motors and uh, Samsung LG batteries, color displays, you know, uh, big controllers, you know. So even if, no matter if you can't can't wait for a limited, our we the eighty percent of what we sell is our base models because that's all people need and it's got all the features, it's got turn indicators, everything like that. So I mean, these are great bikes, but you know, for everything that's great, you have to wait. Like you said, you know, yeah. it's like Tesla's. It's like people will wait forever <laughs> for what they really want. You know, it's like, you know, and that these bikes, you know, they're about 20% of our um, sales, but there is a niche there. And we just like to have cool bikes out there and people posting cool pictures of different colored bikes. And there's actually still a lot of people who are looking for the high-end bikes like myself, honestly, or ready to upgrade. You know, there's a lot of riders out there that they love what they have but they might want a little more power now that they realize, hey, especially the step-through models that are out there. I mean, step-throughs are really becoming super popular just because of their ease of use. Um, you know, it's Those, just awesome. uh, the, the, that motor, you'd never wear, work that motor. I mean, you can go up hills with it. You could pull a trailer with it. You know, if you got a dog or a kid, that motor doesn't even care. It's like having a big V8 or a diesel engine in your truck you know versus a small motor it just does doesn't even notice that is a great point for so for those of you wondering you know why i got a 1500 watt motor if i'm not going to go that fast to be honest though if you are either on the heavier side or you're going to be pulling it you're going to be doing just a lot of riding or you want to do a lot of throttle riding because you don't think you're going to be pedaling as much the good thing with the gearing is you can do pedaling if you want to help it out and you know if it's a very comfortable pedal ride as well but if you just hold your throttle along you can't do that with a lot of bikes when you're actually pulling the peak power at 1500 watts you're not hitting that peak and you're hitting top, the good speeds and you don't ever have to worry about the motor burnout. We have the same warranty as Bafang, same source, you know, so it's the 18 months on the motor and the battery from when you receive it. All the prices, all of our prices include shipping and everything. It's out the door unless you have tax, we only charge tax in Florida. Mm -hmm. So that's not, there's no hidden fees there or anything like that. Josh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for uh, well, you know sharing your thanks insights. Thanks for taking a look at it. I, I'm sorry I ruined you. I'm going to have, I was going to see if you'd take, I look at a couple of my uh, new 2022 uh, base models here in October. So I got three or four models I need to ship off to California and run through the circuits. So hopefully by then you forgot about this one. <laughs> also a little disclaimer here, just so you guys know, make sure you check your local regulations and know what your speed is. Oh, it comes shipped yeah. out at a class two. So it's shipped out know, at a class two. It comes with a class two uh, sticker for you to stick on there. Actually, two stickers. One that says 500 watts if you want to tune it down to that. One that says 750, class two, 20 miles an hour. So no matter what state you're in, it'll come that way. It's sure. advertised on our website as a 750 with a 90 newton meter torque motor. So it's not like we are advertising motor as a 1500 watt. Uh, that's just yeah, what you just can what it can it do. <laughs> what it can do if you yeah. want to do it. But yes. We want to make sure that everyone can get these in Canada and the U.S. and ride them. And, and whenever you go off road or wherever it's safe, then you can, mm -hmm. you know, kick down. So cool. So uh, I just want to mention, you know, Josh was really nice to go ahead and give some promo codes. So if anybody's uh, looking, you know, he has some really cool chopper looking bikes out there where he mentioned about the Prowler and the Mini Prowler. So if you use the promo code below, uh, eBay products, rack fenders, I'll have it posted here right below the video, then just know that you can get uh, the the uh, rack and fenders included on that purchase. And then also, if you use eBay products take 40 at checkout, then you can uh, use $40 worth of credit toward uh, any accessories on any of the purchase of the bike, uh, the bikes that he has on there. So again, that's uh, eBay products take 40. I have it posted here below. It's also in the description if um, you need to remember what it when you're purchasing your bike but yeah thank you guys so much for joining us and thank you again josh for taking the time to go ahead and spend with us it's always fun Thanks. talking about bikes <laughs> yeah i wanted to remind people too that we have a we have a couple we have an 800 number and uh you oh, know a yeah. phone number that rings to our cell phones so like most people on these bikes they call and talk to us about them it's a it's a it's a it's a process to order a custom bike so you don't have to feel overwhelmed with trying to do it on the website and oh cool and you know, all the features just give us a call We'll take an hour with you or half hour, whatever it takes to like help you understand it. And we answer the phone. So we'll take care of you. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. And hey. I will yep, I'll see you guys in the next video.